Hello everyone, I am Angela Bliss and thank you for watching. I am so happy to join the ladies here on the Friday Night with Friends collaboration. Thank you Betty for inviting me, I appreciate it. Now I'm going to get you guys down and we're going to get busy on this painting. I do want to mention that I had to chop up the video a little bit just to make it fit within the timeline. So I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you at the end. Hello everyone, I'm Angela Bliss and welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. Today I am testing out some colors for a commission job that I have. I have four four foot by four foot canvases that I need to paint and I'm just testing out some of these colors to make sure they're going to work. The customer wants blue, teal, gray, white on a black base. I kind of added some more colors just to kind of give it some contrast and we're going to go ahead and see if this works. So I have a 14 by 14 canvas and we're going to get started. I'm using Creative Inspirations Black for the first time. I was talking to Kathleen with Cause Creations and throwing it off of her and I asked her if she had used it and of course you know I've seen her videos and she does and she recommended that I try it so I'm going to do that today. So thank you Kathleen for the suggestion. I'm going to get this spread out and then we'll be right back. I just mixed these paints, so they got some bubbles in them. Torch. So I see a lot of people ask why we do this or ask if they've already painted a painting and they get little pinholes all in the painting or little, looks like little lumps underneath the painting. It's because we didn't get all the bubbles out from mixing the paint. Because when you mix paint, it causes air bubbles to get trapped in the liquid and that's what the torch is for. So I will torch this thing a few times. All right, so now for the colors. I'm gonna use Amsterdam White. It is opaque, so all of my colors that sit on top hopefully will be able to kind of float on top and mix with the white and not get lost in the black. That's what I'm hoping. I'm going to probably just go from here to here, I think. Now I'm going to do bright aqua green by Liquitex Basics. I've got the Amsterdam greenish blue. I've got Pebio in the iridescent blue green. I've got the golden cobalt turquoise. I mixed Arteza Pearl White. I mixed that with Pearl Space Gray to get a lighter gray. And then I have the Artist Loft Professional Level 3 in the Phthalo Blue Green Shade. I'm just going to see if we can't blow this out. Here we go. Don't 
Now you gotta remember this is gonna be on a four foot by four foot canvas. Love the cells. Um, they're pretty. I'm gonna kind of do something here. What we do, we just experiment until we get it right. Okay, I don't have enough black. I don't have enough black. Alright, so let's do this again. Let's put the white on top of the green. Alright, one more time. But I think I got my white too thin, so pretty colors though. I like the colors. This is going to look absolutely amazing on a huge canvas. Um, I do see one of the blue mixing to give like a purplish vibe. I don't know if that's what we're going with, but. Fiddling with it, I'm gonna get the edges and then uh, I may add a little blue right here. Actually, I know, I know, crazy. So, my other camera just went off because it got hot. Show me love, make it change. 
A little bit of gray in there. A little bit of blue. Okay guys, so I think we're gonna do something else with this one when it's dry, but I like it. I have to move some of that color over here, but I'm scared to mess with it now. Uh, just leave it for now. And uh, do you love how I do that? Leave it for now. This right here doesn't have any color, it's okay. It's all right. I feel like I could have done better, but I think on the bigger canvas, I'll be all right. We're gonna do some really cool texture stuff to this one. So uh, that will be another video. So look for that and uh, I'll get you guys down and show this to you. Okay guys, here's the wet version. be kind of shifty and fun so I talked to the client and she loves the colors so we will go with this um, be a slightly different composition this one we're just trying to get some of the colors to come out so that she could see what all was in here and what would possibly show up on her painting so we're gonna let this dry and I'm going to use this for another project uh, so stay tuned for that because that's going to be a lot of fun and uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.